Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Star Flames. Now guys, in this video, we're gonna talk about Miss Kathy Karina White and Jay-Z because it's now being reported that there are people behind the scenes that are pushing to the forefront for Kathy Karina White's death to be um, investigated. So to Kim Porter, also Stephen Twitch boss. But a few days ago, I just wanted to add this in there for you guys. A few days ago, I came across a report that suggests that Stephen Twitch boss uh, autopsy was not um, conclusive with the initial report. Like there's a huge disconnect. But for some reason, honey, that report has been deleted from the internet because when I initially saw the report, I sent the link to the, re to the report to my Instagram inbox so that I could go back and go through the reports. When I click on it, web page cannot be found. Let me know if you guys saw that report a few days ago. It was from some weird site that brings out these celebrity scoops from time to time, but everyone else is there, but sweet Steven Twitch boss could not be found. I don't know what's going on with that. But anyway, let's get into this Kathy White, um, you know, report. Because if you guys remember, I did a video a few days ago about it. Also, if you're familiar with the publicist and conspiracy theorist Liz Crokin, she also did a sit down with, um, Tasha K. Liz Crokin has always wanted for Kathy White's story to get some attention so that some proper investigation could be done because Kathy White was a publicist. So to Liz Crokin. So Liz Crokin and Kathy White was going to have a sit down um, and Kathy White was going to, you know, tell about her private affair with Mr. Jay-Z and having a love child together. But, you know, just hours before Kathy White was to do that sit down with Liz Crokin, she was found dead in her apartment. Since then, Liz Crokin has always been very vocal about this. Now, another thing that I also need to talk about that clearly highlights that there's some cover covering up going on with Kathy White's death, and I believe the cover-up is from multiple people. Do you know, like, um, Nicole Brown Simpson's death? And when Sloan Bella did that reading, she told us that there are several people in town who knows what happened to Nicole Brown Simpson. But it's just that these people who knows the true story are ushish about it. There are at least 30 people. It's given the same thing with Kathy White. Because for some reason, every time I do a video about this, even though I'm not saying, let me make it clear. I'm not saying that Blue Ivy is um Kathy White's daughter. Many people believe that Blue Ivy is Kathy White's daughter. I, I cannot see the disconnection because if Kathy White was pregnant at the time that she was, um, that she was found dead, you know, how would you calculate that? What's the science behind that? No one has ever been able to explain the science behind that for me. So that alone in itself dismisses, you know, any possibility of Blue Ivy being Kathy White's daughter. Also, I'm going to say, when you look at the twins, you know, they look exactly like Blue Ivy. And when you bring um, Beyonce into the picture, Beyonce just looks like her kids for me. But every time I do a video on this, I've never mentioned Claudia Jordan's name outside the fact that, you know, she was friends with Kathy White. But every time I do a video on this, there are always people in my comment section telling me not to call Claudia Jordan's name. And I've only mentioned that woman's name in one Kathy White video months ago. The video that I did a couple days ago, there were so many people telling me that Claudia Jordan said not to mention her name. And I didn't mention that woman's name. None at all in that video. So my question is, what is Claudia Jordan hiding? What is she, what is she so afraid of? Because I cannot believe that people are just coming to my channel of their own will to say, Claudia Jordan said not to mention her name when her name wasn't mentioned. Why is she so scared? You know, that's my question. That's my concern. What the heck is going on? Because again, let me reiterate, her name wasn't mentioned in my last Kathy White video. And also for people to tell me that Claudia Jordan said, um, Kathy White never knew Jay-Z. Hell yeah, there's a photograph of all parties at a party. So explain that for me. There's a photograph of Kathy White, Claudia Jordan, a few friends, Jay-Z, Kanye, 
and a few friends over to the other side. So explain that for me. I mean, they have to have crossed paths at some point in time. The mere fact that they were at the same event. Make it clear. Now, everyone at an event is going to know each other. But all of this, for me, is now officially given red flag. I will always give the benefit of the doubt. But the mere fact that somebody is so eager to go above and beyond to say... But Jay-Z and Kathy White didn't know each other. How do you know they didn't know each other? You have your friends who will always lie to you about who they know and who they don't know. And if their photographs proving otherwise, why are you so eager to cover up? You know, what are you scared of? What are you hiding? I have to ask. No, let's get back into what I was here to talk about. So, Basically, I'm learning that Kathy White's um, investigation, there's a group of people in the background that is pushing for the death of Kathy White to be investigated. They want, you know, the authorities to go back to the time of her death, connect some dots because there were some things that they believe was ignored. No. I don't know what's going to happen, but I know that Liz Crokin has always been vocal about this. She has always wanted something to be done because Liz Crokin is adamant that Kathy had a story to tell. And just before she was able to tell her story, her life was um, taken from her. So now learning that they're pushing for her story to come back to the forefront, they're pushing for an investigation into her death. Also, I'm seeing numerous calls, especially from I'll be sure, you know, for Kim Porter's death to be investigated. There's a whole lot that is going on, you know, because there are even more people that has been mentioned that people have always believed that Jay-Z and Diddy may have some connection to these people's death. Now, also, I'm going to tell you what I believe we may see going on in the coming months. We may see wherein they may want, you know, Sean Diddy Combs to snitch out a few people. And this is why already they're telling us that Diddy is refusing a plea deal. If he gets a plea deal, it means that he would you know, exchange information for a lower sentencing. So maybe instead of life in prison, he would get 25 years, 15 years, or 10 years, however much, you know, they see fit if Jace, if Diddy gives in a few people. So I believe that, you know, we're going to see com this coming back to the forefront of a plea bargain being pushed because I'm learning that a plea bargain is not just being pushed like that to help Sean Diddy Combs. Combs is just to get more people, you know, taken down. However, what's also being said is that JC is being protected by the leaders or the owners of the NFL. If you guys remember, you know, when no one wanted to do the Super Bowl halftime show, they got Jay-Z on board and Jay-Z was able to, you know, get some people to do the Super Bowl halftime show. Those people that the NFL couldn't get in the first place. So chances are there could be an entire trade off going on behind the scenes. It may seem far fetched to us, but to the people who have all the details, you know, they know exactly what they're doing. They know exactly what is going on so it it's going to be interesting i mean the next couple of months maybe the next couple of years is going to be a very interesting one to see who snitches on who you know in trade-off for not doing jail time but again as i'm learning they're trying to push the kathy white investigation to the forefront they want her death to be thoroughly investigated they're going to call for friends and connections to come back up take us with a grain of salt allegedly even though i don't think it's a you know alleged situation i do believe it's going to happen but i'm going to say take it with a grain of salt you know, until it really happens, you never know. You never know what's going to happen with these people. But it's very concerning. It's very interesting. Um, I do hope that, you know, if this lady was taken out by someone, I do hope that the perpetrators were would be brought to justice. But if her death is accidental, has been as been reported, you know, I hope that it gets highlighted too. But remembering Liz Crokin, she's always adamant that there's foul play involved in Kathy Want's death. 
and people believe that the phone play is allegedly Jay-Z. And now Sloan Bella told us that it could have been Beyonce, allegedly. So who knows? But guys, that's all I want to share for this video with you all. Let me know your thoughts while you're at it. Thumbs up, of course. Share, stay safe, and see you guys later. Bye, guys.